It is very exciting tonight. It is exciting that this character represents the first of what we're calling the Marvel Spotlights, which is taken from our comics division, where many of the characters that people know and love now started in what was called the Marvel Spotlight, where we were able to take a character who may or may not have been connected to the far-reaching corners of the Marvel Universe, but had an incredible character-oriented emotional story to focus on, and that's what we're doing with Echo. And she had a great standout appearance in the Hawkeye series where you learned a bit of the backstory and a bit of the connection between she and Kingpin. But with this show, we get to go back to Oklahoma to see her family, to see where she came from. And it's really a very good personal story. It's our first TVMA, which we're excited about because we didn't have to pull any punches throughout the whole show. My hope for the fans is that they can see that people with disabilities can do anything they want. They can go for the moon. You know, Maya herself is a perfect example. She can fight, she can do anything. She can beat the villains up. I guess we'll see exactly what happens in the show, but the audience, sometimes, you know, we don't, we, I want everybody to know that people with disabilities are just like everybody else. It's great. Everybody works so hard on this project. It's gonna be amazing, I'm very happy. It's good to see everybody's face too. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm very happy for Alakwa, especially, yeah. Well, I think the best thing about the show is that uh, all of those groups are speaking for themselves. And the writers behind the scenes, and the directors behind the camera, and the actors on screen um, are all members of that community. So the amount of collaboration was really amazing with members of the deaf community, the hard of hearing community, the Choctaw community. And it really is a story uh, about the Choctaw people and about this hero, Mayo Lopez, um, told by so many members of the of the actual community so uh, they they and this show speaks for itself i think it's it would be impossible to not be inspired by Alekwa's performance and then i guess the character itself the character is such a powerful woman you know it's amazing you know the it's all there you know her whole story is there and she's such a unique actress in so many ways you know so it's it's fantastic. I can't imagine them not being just taken on this journey they're going to love. I, could, I mean, I've seen a few of the episodes and I, they're just so good. The, the energy is so palpable tonight. There's so many indigenous folks everywhere. I think everyone is so excited to finally get an indigenous superhero, anti-hero, somewhere in between, but to have indigenous people and specifically the Choctaw Nation be on such a platform like the MCU is, it's like the inner native geek in me is like freaking out.